the Andrew 26101 show. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm your host, Andrew 26101 show, also known as Mr. Show, also known as Cognac. I want to thank everybody who's live onto the channel. Those of you who are new, hit that subscribe button. Write your comments down. Even if you're not watching this live, write your comments down. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on the Facebook. Link is in the description below. If you'd like to make a PayPal donation to help support the channel, please feel free. Um, funds do go towards equipment that I use to make these fascinating videos for you guys. Anyways, I want to talk about this Kevin Samuels, uh, I guess, interview on this woman that's looking for a high quality male. Um, so basically I'm going to play this video. I'm going to pause in between and kind of give my expertise like I usually do in videos. So sit back and enjoy the show. Um, I wanted to know what needs to be done to, I guess, attract a high value man, Percy. Right. Um, cause I feel like that's where I want my life to be in the future, futuristic terms, but I'm willing to do what it takes to get one. Okay, are you in college? Um, I went to medical school. Did you graduate so, from college? Yeah, I went to NYU. I did a um, certificate program and I'm a surgical technologist or whatever. Did you get a BA or BS? Um, no, so it's you, like- Okay, it's so, a, you, all right, so you didn't graduate from college? No, but I got a certificate in the program that I did. Okay, so when you say you're going to medical school, mm -hmm. I'm going back for um for nursing. All right, All right. so um, why do you need a high value? Why do you need a high value man? Okay, here's some things that I don't quite understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, people. But this girl says she went to school. And she became a surgical technologist. Do you know the starting pay for a surgical technologist? It's 47K, anywhere between 47 and 50K a year. That's a good paying salary to live off of. I don't think surgical technologists get certificates. <laughs> they get bachelor's and associate's degrees. I've never heard of a surgical technology just, just getting a, a certificate. But she claims that she got a certificate, then she's going back to school for nursing. Now, I just want to know, this is my question, okay? Why do you need to go back to school? If you're a surgical technician, and they make pretty damn good money. The starting pay for a surgical technician is 50 grand a year. I mean, that's, uh, it ain't in the six figure mark, but it's damn, it is kind of close. But at the same time, uh, I mean, that might be just, just getting there, but not really. It makes you kind of think. Because I'm just, I'm just a little confused here. Let me look at nursing's for just, let me look at a nurse's salary real quick. Because I, I'm just, I don't know. I just, I just don't understand. L listen, I'm looking at a nursing salary. <laughs> a nurse's salary, $15.65 per hour. Okay. Nurse average pay. Well, this is probably this in the state of Orlando. But I'm just looking over here. $15.65. They got some chop paying. I, I, I'm, let me look a little bit more deep. Let me look into some states here. Because Florida doesn't know how to pay this, people. I, I, I give you that. Florida's 
notorious for not <laughs> paying people the right amount of money. Because me being a, a driver, I mean, the drivers get paid shit in Orlando. We're supposed to be at least getting, you know, in the 70 to 100 and something thousand dollar bracket. I mean, some do. But, you know, you have a CDO, uh, certified operational license to carry cargo and stuff. You can do that. You can make good money. Um, okay, well, I'm looking over here through the states. And this is what I honestly get. Highest paid state registered nurse. Okay, they get, you know... Some some states is thirty dollars an hour, forty dollars an hour. We're just equivalent equivalent to like sixty four thousand. Uh, anywhere between sixty and between sixty and a hundred grand a year for for being a registered nurse. So they get paid pretty damn good money. That's why a lot of women are going into the nursing field because when you're a registered nurse, you get paid some good money. But the amount of hours you're going to be putting in, you barely have time for your kids. You barely have time for your family. But that's that's the that's the that's the cost. But you could have a early retirement if you know how to use your utilize your money the right way. But we have to be totally honest here. Um, and this is not me sounding like a chauvinist, but a lot of women are not responsible when it comes down to money. You know, some men could be the same way too. But um, the reckless spending habits doesn't put you in a position to retire early and that's uh that's the truth but um as far as this goes it's kind of intriguing but um if she is a registered nurse why do you need to go back to school and not just that i i, I just don't get it if you're a uh, a surgical technician you're getting paid some pretty good damn money and i'm sure you're not going to have a certificate you're going to have an uh a ad or a ba or something you know what i'm saying or a masters it's just this i don't know the story doesn't really sound too right here it sounds like maybe she's i don't know let's just continue watching man it's just it's just listen i look deep into things man I ask questions on things because I've never heard of a person that has a soul. Uh, 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 I've never heard of a uh, a surgical technician has just a certificate <laughs> and certified to do technician school, you know, surgical work with just a, you know, just a trade certificate making that type of money. I could be wrong. I don't know, but I've never heard of that before. Usually they'll have associate's degrees or bachelor's degrees or master's, whatever. But I don't know. Let's continue. Um, cause like, I feel like I've dated like the regular, the average guys and I feel like they don't treat me the way I need to be treated. What do you mean? Per se. Um, a lot of the guys that I've like dated in the past, they were, um, I would say like thuggish. <laughs> thuggish? <laughs> Look at Kevin's face, man. <laughs> Listen, man. Th this is what I, 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 this is what I don't understand with with black women, right? She said she dated the ordinary, normal man, and they just didn't treat her right. And she said she kept on dating the thuggish men, as if normal men are thuggish men. I, I, you know what I'm saying? This is what I don't understand is that you got a lot of these females that really think they're high value and they deserve to be with a high quality man, but don't have high qualities. <laughs> but then they can fit in the average category where there's average men and normal men who don't have these certifications of bachelor's and associate's degrees. They're not thuggish men. They're regular, ordinary guys. But that is the problem in American society. Is that all these women, for the most part, are chasing after 3% of the men 
that don't exist in their world and they believe they need to get it they need to have it because they believe they're a high quality female based off their accomplishments when there's other men that are bigger fish who have the selective opportunities and the options to choose from high quality women but these women perceive the normal woman perceives herself i'm not talking about beautiful women on instagram because those are normal chicks i'm not talking about just a regular chick who looks beautiful and all that and has a big booty have an ass and titties and they believe that they i'm not talking about them i'm talking about successful women who have it all together i'm talking about the personalities traits the nurturing perspective of it not not the i'm too bad I, i'm i'm independent miss black woman and i'm this and i'm that no we ain't talk about that we're not talking about the bragging boasting egotistical types we're talking about if you have it all together mind body and spirit if you have what it takes to be a potential wife to be that woman in that man's life to have that quality that high quality man but see a high quality man to a lot of these females is basically a, a dude that you know some of them uh, <laughs> a dude that got a big dick a dude that got a lot of money and that's that doesn't define a high quality man it, it goes deeper than that ladies it goes deeper than that i'm not talking about them because they also perceive to be in the uh in the high bracket of the quality men that they want but the quality men that they want is that street dude that's the stuff they put out there now in this type of female that i get right here she said she's used to dating the street thug dudes or the thuggish they've been kind of thuggish <laughs> I, I man listen i hate the fact that when things go wrong with women when they date certain type of men they want to put all men in the same category i don't i don't never understand this female behavior man i never understand it and what makes you think you qualify to be with a man who who's already accomplished who's got more than you I just I just don't I don't understand it man I don't get it in a, in a way. young lady a high value man is not a get out of jail free card and it's not a meal ticket mm. a high value man is a job a hard job the hardest job you'll ever have in your life is to be the wife of a high value man it's not a life of the hardest job for a woman is being a high value wife for a high value man you, you see like just the facial reactions from this chick of her rolling her eyes she could tell right there she's she's not interested right there from that point she don't want to hear it and, and see that's the problem and kevin samuel sees this a lot with women it's like they don't want to hear the truth so it doesn't matter what you 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 try to tell them um it's just like being a high value male is also a hard job too it's a hard job as well you know but women don't see it that way because if a high value woman is with a high value male it's his job to keep those qualities those high qualities and it's her job to keep those qualities too but see a lot of women don't understand that who are high value men okay three percent brackets okay you can look at your sports entertainers your athletes you can look at uh basketball players uh musicians rap artists hip-hop artists uh um who else uh, even lawyers and doctors we you know if we want to put down to that category uh, business owners high quality males so if if these high quality males are with these high quality women they have to sustain a lifestyle for these women 
Because if that's not the case, you know, we just got to be, we got to keep it real. She's out the door. If she's not living a certain lifestyle or her lifestyle's being cut, she's out the door. I mean, just take this for instance. Um, we can look at celebrities like Dr. Dre and his uh, estranged ex-wife. Now, she's used to living a certain lifestyle, okay? So, I guess she can be considered as a high-quality woman, but not necessarily either. Because she doesn't possess any traits that make her high-quality because she's just a trophy case. If you look at it. But now that she's used the money to inform, to you know, to hone her own business, she's living off of another man's success. Because that's what she had to do to get what she wants. And, hey, listen. Women do it all the time. There's, there's nothing against that. I got nothing against women that are doing their come-ups and shit. And they got to use a nigga to get what they want because, hey, this is just reality. This is just reality. This is what women do. And, you know, it's they've been doing this for many, many years, many centuries. You know, it's, it's just in their DNA. So, not all women are going to get high quality men. And they need to realize that because there's too much of you. You basic females. I'm just going to say this. And I got to keep it real. I know it's harsh. Kevin Samuels don't give a shit. He'll just go and tell you how it is. But it's too many of you basic ass females. That think y'all superstars. That think y'all rock stars. That think y'all Hollywood fucking celebrities and shit. Especially on social media. And y'all ain't got shit to offer. Besides your looks. And I've been saying this over and over again. With American women. You don't have the grace and the natural femininity. Not saying all, but there's a lot that's missing that femininity. I don't feel feminine energy a lot coming from statewide women. I usually feel a lot of aggressiveness, masculinity, and a lot of anger and probably bitterness. And if a man has an objective and opinion or may not agree to a woman's demands, or possibly may not even find a Pacific woman attractive. All of a sudden he's deemed as the most horrible man in the world. As if men cannot have the options to not like what they see. Because naturally we are attracted by what we see. Women are attracted by how they feel. How you make them feel. Because if that's not the case, why do you think they have the thrill to be with the thuggish dudes and the bad boys? It's because they give them a thrill of excitement. It's, it's continuously tampering with their emotions. Even if it's good or bad. We have to be honest. A lot of women like drama and suspense. They like their lives to be like a soap opera. See, with men, we don't got time for that. We don't live too long. We're trying to build a legacy. Luxury. It's not a, ooh, buy me a BMW, and I just get up in the morning, or you go off to work, and I just sit in the house all day and watch TV. That ain't it. Mm -hmm. you're, up at six, you're up at 5 o'clock in the morning, going to the gym, working out, making sure that by the time you get back home and the kids are up, you got the kids' breakfast ready, Kids right out, out, out of the door, your husband's stuff ready to make sure when he goes up, so he has to do, to make sure that when everybody else leaves, that you get the house straight, get the meals prepped, get everything done, to make sure when the kids get back home, the homework gets done, to make sure when I come through the door, that the meal is ready, the kids are ready to go, and all the money and shit that we're working to earn, you are doing all this other stuff. You get, and by the, by the way, you got to stay in shape and all this other stuff to make sure that I ain't doing nothing for the kids. You got to get the kids all ready to go. Parent teacher conference, homework, everything else. I just look over it from an, from an executive position and say, great. Then you get the kids ready, go on something, so forth, blah, blah, And then you serve your husband. Wash, rinse, repeat the rest of your life. I just want to add in one thing. What Kevin Samuels is completely right. Um, taking care of your body, working out, and all of us can testify that. But we all need to work out, even men and women, too. Um, that's quite that's quite traits of both high quality men and women um like he was saying getting ready getting the kids ready getting up early at five o'clock in the morning work out uh then come back taking care of the kids make sure your husband's got his stuff and his 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 stuff organized because you know 
being a high value woman or being a high value wife I should say that requires those type of traits um also uh you know he forgot to add in the money situation finances you got to do your part and put in your part financially just like the man does too because high value men and, and high value women have a business oriented mindset and they work together as a business a husband and a wife works together like a unit like a business and if one or the other is not following the same cards in the deck everybody falls nobody gains nobody wins that doesn't make the relationship a high value you have to think as one you have to work as one most women is that's like Cam, kevin samuel said it's not that it's not about being at home ladies sitting on your ass while you have yourself a rich man that's out there putting all the work and you could just go ahead and take the money and spend it and buy stupid shit you know what i mean that's not a lifestyle of a high value woman that is a lifestyle of a high value man that's dealing with a trash bag woman or just dealing with a woman that doesn't have her own or just leeching which most ignorant men who may be of a of a of a category of high value may end up losing their value over doing ridiculous spending because most high value men are not about spending they're about earning and most high value women supposed to be the supporters of that man getting to his goals as well as working together to achieve the goals with him it's not a life of luxury do you believe that a, um an independent like not an independent woman but a woman that has stuff herself could keep a high value man a man because i feel like sometimes no 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 oh. A woman that's got her own stuff, that works hard for her own stuff, is not going to get a high value man. Because that man has that stuff that you buy, he can afford to buy that plus double. <laughs> so that's that doesn't make you a high quality woman because you've got a lot of money and you got stuff. Because that's men men naturally are hunters we search for that within ourselves to be high quality men and getting our shit together that's being financially mentally spiritually empowered now the same for women is a little bit different but canvas samuels i'm sure is going to probably explain and most likely it's something i i i already know what he's going to say and that i i follow the same philosophy as well but let's keep yeah i really like don't want independent women you you young ladies think this is a like a fantasy mm -mm. not per se but i know like when i like i know i'm still young and stuff and i have like a lot of stuff ahead of me but like even dating guys when i tell them you know um that i'm a surgical technician for right now and i still want to like do more stuff and go back to school it? it seems to me now y'all could correct me if i'm wrong but it seems that she holds her title of being a surgical technician to his highest format, to his highest degree. We know these type of women. To think because they got a certification, even a bachelor's or an associate's degree, that they think that they're, uh, they deserve high quality value men because they have a certificate. But even though she says she's going back to school, but here's the thing. A surgical technician has, gets a minimum wage of 50 grand a year. That is a good paying salary. It seems to me that she's trying, well, obviously, she's trying to get the six-figure men, the six-figure income. Now, she's, I would say, safely middle class, right? Or maybe not, not, yeah, I wouldn't say poor, but I'd say like in the middle class. I think anywhere from 20000 a year, if you're making anywhere from 20000 to I think like sixty grand, is considered middle class. So here's the thing. She's trying to get something beyond 
what she has to offer. If you're talking about on a financial perspective, because high quality men, very high value quality men who've got it all together, they don't mess with women who are not on a high quality scale. And I've explained it with the 3% of women in their categories, just like there's a 3% of men. But see, she's a normal chick. She's a normal female. She doesn't make six figures. But she makes good money. So why can't she just settle with a man who makes good money? But like I said, she is used to dating thugs. See, this this is this is the thing, man. You got the low trash men who usually get these type of women who perceive to be high quality women to these type of men because obviously Pookie and Ray Ray ain't got shit going for them. This is call it how it is. And they big up these women of being high value women. So when you big up these women and these women get self validation, they think they're beyond. And they should be in the high category, high, high category of getting the men that don't even look at them. The 3% of men that have the options to choose of any type of woman they want, why would they choose from a lower bracket when they can get a woman who looks just as beautiful, whose sex game might be just the same, but the pay rate is more money. But it's, you got to understand, it's not just that. If you want to be the wife for a high-value man, like a Kanye West, right? You have to have more to offer. More to offer. So when people make fun of Kim Kardashian, despite what you say, despite what other people say about her looks and this and that, and she wants to be a black girl, da 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 at the end of the day, she's a high quality woman. <laughs> At the end of the day, she's a high quality woman. Let that sink in. Right now, and I still want to like do more stuff and go back to school. Where's your father? He, um, he's in the medical field. He's a surgical tech too. So I kind of like. You raised your mother and your father? Yeah, I was raised with both of them. Is your father helping you vet and sort through me? Um. No. No. See, this is what's really important for a lot of young girls and men, fathers, is that one thing I've I've seen is whenever a father's involved in their daughter's life, that girl. Nine times out of ten, that girl makes the right decisions, knows the type of men to look out for, and gets the type of right men to settle down with. Have you noticed that? It always happens. But for some crazy reason, you've got a lot of women today that like to take advice from other women about men. But these are the same women who have the same type of failed relationships with men, failed relationships with just people in general, don't know how to interact or have self-value, but also have respect for others. So this is a problem here. That makes you think to yourself. If a father is absentee in a daughter's life, rather they're together or not, if your father doesn't get involved in your life, not saying just be there present, because my father was there present, you know, and there was times where he was kind of actively involved and there's times he wasn't. Well, there's a lot of times he wasn't. And that's where the emotional state of mind came from when I was younger, because I was mostly taken care of 
from my mother. So then I realized the mistakes that I've done was from a lot of emotional responses. So then I realized that what I was doing wrong, I have to do exactly opposite. But in this case, this is just a proven example when a father is absentees from a woman's life. When a, when a father is involved in a woman's relationship or a girl's relationship, nine times out of 10, she's going to come out right. You don't involve your father in your romantic life. I try to, but he's so like, um, like high dump. He's more high demanding than me. Like exactly you know? because he knows what's out here. You need to listen to him. The number one problem with their, with, uh, their daughters is that they don't like to listen. That's the number one problem with girls who have fathers. They don't want to listen to their father. And this is why they always make mistakes. They don't listen to them. They don't listen to their fathers, but they'll listen to their moms. They'll do exactly what the mom says. You need to listen to your father. He's right. Your father knows the high quality man that's out there. You may think he's a pain in the ass and oh, he's too old and da 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 da, but you go thank him later. You go thank him later because remember, your father used to be young too. <laughs> so he knows how these young men are. He knows what's right for you. But a lot of these girls, they don't want to listen to their fathers. And then when they have effed up relationships, when they end up being a baby mama, and then this, this nigga out there, he ain't around to take care of you. Then you want to know why. Because you never listen to your father. <laughs> your fathers go, listen, what's one thing with fathers? They want the best for you. Fathers, you're like, you're their little girl. They want the best for you. They know what's out there. They know the dangers that's out there. But there's no other type of love that a woman can receive more there's no other type of masculinity love that they conceive more of a, of a network of security more than their own fathers. And when you find those qualities of your father within another man, that's when you know, ladies, you found the one. That's what's out here. You need to listen to him instead of Ooh. guys you don't know on Instagram. Ooh. Facts. Okay. You don't know me. I don't, but I see you I like it. You have a father. Listen to your father. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Do you not think he loves you? Yeah, she probably. I mean, we have a complicated relationship. Do you think he loves you? That's not what I asked you. I don't care if you like him. I said, do you think he loves you? Yeah. Did he Did he put a roof over here? Yes. Food in your stomach? Yes. Make sure you got out of high school, right? Yep. You got any babies? Nope. Good. He sounds like he did his damn job. Respect yeah. him. <laughs> Stop worrying about a high value man. Go get a regular guy like your dad. Sounds like he. <laughs> Yo, I gotta find out if this man is related to me, man. Cause he's got my last name. I gotta find out if Kevin said he gotta be. He gotta be a West Indian. He's gotta be Jamaican. Cause you know, with that last name Samuels, Samuels, Samuels is a. Is, is a West Indian name. And he, listen, Kevin is telling it how it is, man. Stop trying to learn, search for these high quality men, these Instagram men that you can perceive as high quality men. Because we see the bullshit. We know whatever what regular women want. Oh, wow. And then she's all surprised because that's the truth. You need to find, you need to find the qualities. We're not saying we need to find somebody like your daddy. You need to find the qualities that your father has. Your father did a damn good job. You're not pregnant. You got yourself a degree. You're on the right track. The right path of finding yourself a good man. Just don't fuck it up on these Ray Rays and Pookies. Because it sounds like he did a damn good job. Because guess what? You know, both of my sisters, okay, they don't have any kids. All right? And they're in their 30s. Well, one is in their early 20s and one is in their early 30s, okay? Uh, one is in a relationship and one is not. But... 
they're doing good. You know what I'm saying? So they're not settling for for less. As in, they know the qualities that they that they possess that they should be looking for. A respectable person. It's not about the, just the, the high quality man's of oh he has money oh he has to have a job oh, oh I have a job is important yes that should be an importancy so I I get that every I mean if you have a job I would expect somebody to have the job so we're not we're not talking about that but during this pandemic in this time you can't expect everybody to have jobs because of what's going on so this is an excuse but on a regular basis I get it and just like a woman should have a job too you know but so it, it, the same qualities should apply but listen. Like Kevin Samuel said, you should be following your daddy's footsteps, looking for somebody that has the same qualities as your father. This is why a lot of women have effed up relationships, even when they're good women. Anyways, guys, I'm out. Rate the video, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on the Facebook. If you'd like to make a PayPal donation, feel free. Also, follow my Patreon. I will be coming out with videos on there. And my travel videos will be coming up very soon once this coronavirus is gone. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Holla at your...